our last video we became more familiar how to name compounds with alkyl groups coming off so this video is just going to be additional practice and we're going to get straight into this example so first of all we notice that it's a ring so it's going to be a cyclostructure and then we have this alkyl group coming off it's all carbons so I'll go ahead and circle this first and go ahead and name it so there's one two three carbons in this group so three is prop and it's an alkyl group so it's going to be propyl and then we see that there's a bromo and a chloro so we need to know where we're going to start with numbering this compound so we could start here one two three four five or we could start at the bromo one two three four five either one these are going to be the first two and then this is going to end up being the fifth carbon so the way we decide which one is the first carbon is just by the alphabet so bromo comes before chloro b before c so that's how you decide what is going to be the first carbon for naming and then we're going to chloro for the second because that's where the ne the next nearest group is so i'll go ahead and number this ring so it's going to be seven carbons in the ring and then we have this five propyl and then we have a one bromo and a one chloro and then the ring is going to end up being cycloheptane so I always like to write out what they're going to be uh, just so I don't make a mistake when I'm naming it a little later so I'll go ahead and name this we have one bromo we're naming this alphabetically so bromo and chloro come before the propyl so one bromo two chloro and five propyl cycloheptane so that would be how you name this compound and we're going to get straight into another example and we have this compound right here so no rings it's not going to be a cyclostructure the first thing we're going to do is number the longest carbon chain so we could start over here one two three four five or one two three four five six seven or up here is one two three four five six seven eight nine I always like to count them all just so I don't make the mistake of missing uh, a chain that's longer than the other so I'll go ahead and start numbering up here because this is the group where the nearest or this is the side with the nearest group coming off so one two three four five six seven eight and nine I'll go ahead and make the longest chain a little darker too. Uh, this is what I do on when I would take tests. I would always darken or uh, bold the longest chain just so I didn't make the mistake. And then I always circle the group. So off of the fourth carbon, it's going to be a four methyl. Meth is one carbon. And then off of the fifth carbon, we have one two. So two is eth so it's going to be ethyl and then the fifth carbon is 5-ethyl and then off of the third carbon we have a 3-fluoro so now we just have to name this alphabetically we also have the nonane I'll go ahead and write that out for the backbone so going to name this we want to do it alphabetically so ethyl is going to be the first thing we're going to write so we're going to name this 5-ethyl and then the next thing is the fluoro so three fluoro and then four methyl nonane so once you break it break it down not too bad to name so five ethyl three fluoro four methyl nonane so getting into the last example for this video we have two two di iodo three three dimethyl hexane so we can start off by drawing the backbone. It's going to be hexane. So one, I'll go ahead and redo that. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then off of the second carbon, we have two iodines. So this can be the second, or this can be the second. Either way you do it, you're going to get the answer right. So we're going to make, that's too long of a bond. So we have two I'm going to redo that actually. All right, so we have two iodines coming off of the second carbon, and then off of the third carbon, we're going to have two methyls. 
So that is how you would draw 2,2-diodo-3,3-dimethylhexane. So in the next video, I'm going to be adding um, ISO, SEC, and then TERT. So you're going to see that in the next video. It's going to get a little more confusing, but still, it's not too bad once you get the practice in. So if, you, if this video helped you out and you want to leave it a like or a thumbs up, that would help our channel out. And hopefully this additional practice is helping you guys understand this more. So I'll see you guys in the next video.